What's good guys, it's your boy Alpha Bear Gaming here, back again with another video. This time we're going to be building a $550 PC build that can run most games at 1080p, mid to high settings with 60 plus FPS. So keep in mind that PC parts fluctuate in price constantly, so depending on when you watch this video, it might be like a $400 PC build or like a $700 PC build. So just keep that in mind when you watch this. Also, you're not going to get like crazy video editing with this PC build or like crazy streaming or anything like that. This is like mainly a gaming build, but you can do some light editing on this. It's so like if you're doing YouTube, you can just do like some light editing, like cutting out clips and stuff like that. You'll be able to do that with this PC. But other than that, let's get straight into the build. Alright, so starting off this build, we have the Intel Core i3-4160. It's going to set you back around $110, but what you're getting with that is two cores clocked at 3.6 GHz. It's going to be hyper-threaded, so basically what hyper-threading is, it has makes every single core have like a virtual core, so it's kind of like a mock-up quad core. So that's going to like increase your performance in gaming also. So since this is only a dual core, you're not going to be doing very heavy video editing and streaming like that, but this is primarily a gaming build. So this is a very solid processor for the money. Next up we have the motherboard, and for the motherboard we chose the ASRock H97 Anniversary Edition. So it's going to set you back around $65, and with that you're getting a lot of great features. So it's running on the Intel H97 chipset which means it's non overclockable, but it has support for all Intel uh, CPUs. So you can go up to an i7 non overclockable i7 or an i5 later on in the future. And it has four RAM slots, 1600 megahertz up to 32 gigabytes, which means you can upgrade your RAM. So it's kind of good for upgradability in the future, but there is no SLI support or crossfire support. So you won't be able to have two graphics cards, but I mean if you're going to be building a PC for like $550, I don't think you really want SLI. And it also has SATA 6GB ports, and it also has onboard USB 3.0. So overall, this is like a pretty good motherboard. It's very good for upgrading your processor and your RAM in the future. So for the graphics card, we got the EVGA GeForce GTX 960. So this is going to set you back around 230 bucks. But for 230 bucks, this is a really good GPU for our build. And you're going to be looking at four gigabytes of DDR5 RAM. And DDR5 RAM is very good for a game like Grand Theft Auto 5, where you need at least two gigabytes of DDR5 RAM to at least run with a decent frame rate. So this is going to be super super clocked edition. So that basically means that it's going to be pre overclocked before you get it so that's very good for our build since it doesn't support overclocking so this plus the i3 equals really good frame rate in most almost all games 1080p mid to high settings you'll be looking at like 60 fps but keep in mind if you get into like a game like gta 5 or witcher 3 you turn up the settings to ultra and you turn on anti-aliasing and uber sampling you won't be able to play it because keep in mind this is only a $550 gaming PC build. And yeah, also you won't be able to do 4K, cause once again, only a $550 gaming PC build. But for 1080p 60fps, you'll be set. So moving on to the RAM, we're gonna have the Corsair Vengeance LP 8GB module kit. So it's gonna be dual channel, which means that it's gonna have two RAM sticks clocked at 1600 megahertz that both add up to eight gigabytes. So I mean, if you do a little math, you can easily figure out that it could be four and four gigabytes, seven and one gigabytes, five and three gigabytes, but that's going off topic. So let's get back on topic. So as I mentioned earlier, it's gonna be 1600 megahertz, which is great because that is what our motherboard supports. And one of the main aspects of the design, besides for its cheap price at only $50, is the low profile it has so that basically means it's not going to be sticking out it's not going to be taking up a lot of space and you can fit in like a big cpu cooler and stuff like that so moving on to the storage we have the seagate barracuda es one terabyte so this is only going to be 45 dollars 45 dollars you're getting a really good deal on one terabyte hard drive so the read and write speeds are going to be 7200 rpm so this is pretty fast i have like the same type of a hard drive but a different brand and it boots up my system in like five seconds so that's pretty fast 
and one terabyte is going to be more than you need for gaming especially if you just download games and steam in your operating system you're only going to be looking at using like 400 gigabytes out of one terabyte me i only use 500 gigabytes that's because i have all my games downloaded all my programs i use for editing downloaded and extra random stuff for programming so yeah i only use up 500 gigabytes also that's with my saves of my videos and stuff all right so moving on to the power supply we got the evga 430 watt 80 plus bronze certified power supply so this is going to set you back around 35 bucks but for 35 bucks this is actually pretty good so this is only 430 watts so keep in mind this is going to be enough to power this system but it won't be enough to support future upgrades in the future so what i recommend is getting like a 500 watt power supply if you're thinking about upgrading anytime soon but if you're not going to be upgrading to like six years or something like that then just go with this one and this is going to be 80 plus bronze certified so what that means you're going to be saving a lot of money on your electricity when you get this build or at least you're going to be saving more than what you would if this wasn't 80 plus bronze certified so with the money you save i guess you could actually like upgrade later in the future to a better power supply i guess so the last part in this pc build is going to be the thermal take versa h21 so it's going to set you back around 35 bucks for 35 bucks you're getting a nice semi-passive semi-aggressive type type looking case so it looks a very nice you're going to have more than enough space for all of your pc components and you're going to have enough space for maybe even a water cooler in the future for an upgrade but a downside of this case is you have to break away some of the pieces to get your graphics card in and you might be able to cut yourself on that so safety might be an issue and uh you're only going to get two usb ports so what i would do to fix this is get a usb hub so you can have more usb ports but other than that it's a pretty okay budget case all right guys so this concludes my 550 dollar pc build so i hope you liked it keep in mind that this is only my second time doing a pc build so yeah i'm not very good at it but i would love to improve later on in the future so i can make better content for you guys so put in the comments what i did wrong what i can improve on what you liked or what you disliked about this video and don't forget to leave a like if you liked it dislike if you didn't like it and subscribe yeah bye